Hey guys, Brad Reynolds here from PNT Catfishing Adventures. Well, the debate has been brought back up about strawberry flavored chicken. We're going to talk about it. Well, as a fan of natural baits, cut baits, and things that are just natural to a catfish's diet, the idea of strawberry chicken just didn't make a lot of sense to me. But Miss Tammy and I thought we would at least give it a try. So last year we did a lot of fishing and we used this strawberry flavored chicken. Now, there's a lot of people that will use Kool-Aid. We used Jell-O and the consistency uh, in the makeup of Kool-Aid versus Jell-O is different. So that in itself could make a total difference. But we uh, went on and used several different types of baits to see if the strawberry flavored Jell-O chicken could catch fish. Now, we did a two day challenge uh, on this and we actually used jugs to blanket the area a little bit and to potentially catch some more fish in the amount of time period we had. And we wanted to see at the end of the day or the end of the two days, what actually caught more fish. Here's a few clips of day two of uh, the bait challenge. Watch this. But he's still tugging pretty good. Uh, so good he just took it under again. Miss Tammy's got a nice fish right here. Don't break the line. Another nice blue. And I don't know about the hook on there. The way it's hooked. Yes, got it in. And uh, just took it down and had it down for a good while. This is the same area where we caught the uh, flathead just a little while ago. And uh, this, is chicken. this is on chicken. He's not bouncing it now. Let's see if he got off after that last pull. Nope, he didn't. There is definitely some weight. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We got live action. We got a death roll going on. We got, oh, he is a fat, chunky blue. He is not huge in length. He's arguing. And he's fat. He... Well, as we did find out, the strawberry actually does catch fish. Now, this subject was brought back up by Mr. Dieter Melhorn. He is a very respected YouTube fisherman. Uh, he is a guide as well, uh, sells merchandise and so on. He is pretty famous in the catfishing industry. He does podcasts and so on. Uh, he is definitely a recognized name. Well, he put out his test experience uh, that he did over a period of time and you may want to check out his channel and get his take on it but we're finding out that the strawberry jello flavor chicken is catching fish now i've also heard on Dieter's show and other people and used it myself just regular plain chicken so maybe it's just the chicken itself that these catfish are after Possibly so. However, during this two days, we actually had pork chop, that's right, pork chops cut up and using them for bait with the strawberry flavored jello as well. So, not only was it the strawberry flavored chicken, it's also strawberry flavored pork. So, do they like the pork? Do they like the chicken? Or is it the strawberry? Now again, we're also in this test using uh, one of the most popular um, food sources out there for the catfish in that area, and that is skipjack herring, all right? Catfish candy for sure for them. And uh, again, we're gonna show you the results here in just a second at the end of this video. Kinda so if you see that, and that just happened to get there. All right, you got to stick on the right, or, on, or what wheel will be on your right. <clears throat> ah, you're right there by the motor. 
Oh, she got it. And let's see. Oh, no. Oh, oh, it's a blue. And it's a nice one. That's it's a heavy one. <laughs> and she said it's a heavy one. <laughs> Orange chicken. And he's talking. And folks, that one is on. Well, like I said earlier, at the end of this video, we are going to be showing a list of all the fish uh, that we caught statistically as far as breaking down what bait they hit on uh, the most at the end of this video. And uh, you definitely want to check that out. But in the meantime, uh, like I said, you can check out our videos if you want to watch the full videos. We are going to put a link to both day one and day two videos at the end of this. But uh, you may want to do your own test, okay? Again, we did not use strawberry Kool-Aid. Nothing against Kool-Aid. Love it. It's good stuff. Grew up on it. But we used strawberry flavored Jello. Again, just put this in a Ziploc bag. Cut up little chunks of, of chicken if you want to. Put this in basically dry. There's the moisture from the chicken itself is going to, uh, you know, work this up and so on and so forth. So work this up in the bag, shake it up real good, maybe throw it in the refrigerator overnight is probably best, but at least give it a, an hour or two, uh, and you should be ready to go if you're wanting to try this. Again, I'm a skeptical, very, very skeptical. Now, still to this day, more often than not, what I'm going to use is skipjack, bluegill, and, and things like that, or, or even regular chicken personally. However, if you want to take the extra time and make this up and do your own test, if you haven't tried it, don't knock it, all right, and give it more than one day or more than one location uh, to, to see if this actually works or not. Again, coming up, the results of our two-day bait challenge with the strawberry Kool-Aid versus fresh cut and caught skipjack. Check it out. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Get out and try your own uh, catfish bait challenge there. Trying this strawberry jello flavored chicken or what have you. It's a lot of fun. And uh, you may find that you have a brand new bait that you want to start using. It may just become your favorite. Anyway, please subscribe. Again, thanks for watching. We do appreciate it so much. And be sure to catch the links to the videos about the bait challenge, the two-day bait challenge, coming up.